Welcome, welcome my students, my study hub. So, I, all of you, I, all, I inform all of you. So don't forget to subscribe my channels because what I am getting from you, that is from your subscribe, okay? So, you must follow my channel regular on regular basis. I try to give my the best, okay? So, in the thermodynamics chapters, because this is very boring and also important and very hard and also very important and all of things cannot be, I, can, I am trying to explain clearly with numerical problems. So, try to guess and also go over the book, go through thoroughly the books, then no questions will be very hard to you. Okay, so let's start. Today I will start about the part 7 of thermodynamics. Okay, so let's start. अगर तुम लोग नए हो तो सब्सक्राइब करो वो जो लाल वाला बटन है उसके साथ स्कैम करो या फिर महफिल जमाओ मुझे नहीं पता बस क्लिक हो जाना चाहिए सो टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट explain about thermodynamics part 7 thermochemical equation what is thermochemical equation that is enthalpy of reactions and heat of reactions okay heat of reactions enthalpy of reactions i also discuss enthalpy change of enthalpy h delta h in the extra classes okay so must follow each and every topic without each and every topic you cannot clear all the thermodynamic chapters okay so what is the c a chemical reactions or equations which indicates a chemical reactions or chemical equations reactions here the enthalpy of reactions it indicates the amount of heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reactions Again, chemical change of reactions during chemical reactions heat absorb or heat evolved i have told earlier in the earlier topics here heat evolved or released okay evolved release or absorbed can be expressed in terms of delta h okay so you know, what you see suppose when released heat will be released that will be known as the exothermic reactions and when heat will be absorbed that is the endothermic reactions Okay, suppose in case of one reaction to SO2 plus O2, sulfur dioxide, okay, sulfur dioxide, maybe gas, hai. oxygen, maybe gas, SO2 plus O2, what will happen? What will be the product? This is the reactant, SO3, this is the product. Okay, and some heat will be produced here. So, if you balance it, 2s, 2s, 2, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6. Okay, some heat will be produced out here. In some cases, it will be produced, that is, it will be released. In some cases, it will be absorbed here, most probably 694. Point something. It will be produced, pilozone. Okay, so here this the example of reaction reactions where it is released out here. So it is released. That means here it is greater. It is released out here. So here we, when it will be released, what I know? Okay, that is delta will delta H will be negative. Delta will be negative. You must. Remember that delta H will be minus 694.3, okay, or 6 hoga in kilojoule, okay. So, what is exothermic reactions? That is, in case of exothermic reactions, in case of exothermic reactions, exothermic reactions, here always exothermic reactions, delta H, that is delta H, will be always negative. Delta H will be always negative, and here 
it will be released out there. It will release the more energy out there. It will release the energy and that will be negative. In case of, that is, it has high energy. In case of endothermy, endothermy reaction, in, in case of endothermic reaction, endothermic reactions, here, that means it will be what? Absorbed. It will be absorbed here. That is, delta H equals to positive. Delta H will be positive in case of endothermic reaction. That means, here is less energy, less amount of energy. In examples, suppose carbon plus sulfur, CH2. Suppose carbon plus sulfur. Carbon, of, of course, the a lot of carbon, diamond and graphite, it will be graphites, okay? The carbon plus sulfur, it will form CH2. In this case, in this case, that is, it will be released, now absorbed, what? Tell, it will be absorbed, that is, it has less energy, it has high energy, that it will absorb, it will be given, energy is less, here energy is high, so it releases energy, it absorbs energy. Clear? In this case, delta H. In this case, delta H will be positive. Delta H will be positive. That is, what will be there? Min plus 92. Approx 92.3 kilo joule. Okay? It is 92.0 by 2, whatever some things. You, know, you can write 0 also. That is true. That is main thing is that it will be negative. Delta H will be positive out here. And it will be released out there. Okay. It is here released. It is absorbed. Sorry. It is absorbed. It is released. Clear? Now come the different types of reactions. So, very important. Every reaction every reactions involves whether it is endothermic or exothermic. In case of endothermic, what do you learn? Very important thing. In case of endothermic, what do you think? In, uh, it, is, it will be absorbed, it will be absorbed in case of exothermic, it will be released, delta H will be negative in case of exothermic, delta H will be positive in case of endothermic. So, in this heat of reactions or enthalpy, enthalpy of reactions, that is a standardization. So, there, there are different types of enthalpy we got, enthalpy change, enthalpy got, so it should require a standard enthalpy, standard enthalpy reactions. In case of standard enthalpy reactions, what do we get? We have to find out a particular temperature, the one at ATM, okay, 25 degrees centigrade temperature. And this, which will be naturally occurring, that is a free occurring. In that case, standard enthalpy will be zero. So, in this case, standard <coughs> enthalpy of fusion, standard enthalpy of reaction, you can write standard <coughs> enthalpy of reaction. It is in case of um, we, we count out here on all free natural occurring so oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, okay, chlorine, iodine, okay, <coughs> hydrogen, CO2, all these things, it will be standard heat of enthalpy will be normally zero. But in case of carbon, sorry, carbon. In case of carbon, that means graphite, but in case of carbon diamond, it is not equal to zero. In case of diamond, the carbon not equal to zero. But naturally occurring, what is free state, that is the enthalpy will be zero. So now we will discuss about step by step. There are so many things, so not required to discuss all these things step by step, just you have to con con uh, get the concept by doing some numerical problems. But, 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 in standard enthalpy of fusion, standard enthalpy of vaporization, standard en enthalpy of sublimation, standard enthalpy of formation. Uh, so all these things, standard enthalpy of reactions, standard enthalpy of formation, standard enthalpy of fusion, vaporization, all you require. Then standard enthalpy of fusion, then we delta HF, delta H, fusion, fusion. Okay. You can write out here. Okay. So, uh, in this thing, standard enthalpy of uh, vaporization. Okay. In this side, you can indicate. 
vaporization formation delta f delta f that is the standard uh, enthalpy of formation so all these things that nothing in case you have to consider in case of one mole of anything one mole of gas one mole of gas you know what is fusion you know what is vaporization what is sublimation a solid to vapor you know the sublimations that means what is thing of here standard health enthalpy of vaporization standard enthalpy of fusion standard enthalpy of formation all these things you have to go through the book the definition then you know the definition of fusion evaporation and all this a few moments later this thing that is standard enthalpy of formation that is a delta f h delta f h okay that is standard enthalpy of formation fusion enthalpy change in formation of one mole enthalpy change in formation of one mole of a compound from its constituent element that is known as standard enthalpy of formation same thing standard enthalpy change in formation of one mole of compound is it diffusion one mole of compound from its constituent standard enthalpy vaporization solid to liquid vaporization standard enthalpy melting whatever you can say the only the definition is enthalpy change in formation of one mole of compound from its constituent parts is known as standard enthalpy of formation delta f h you can write standard enthalpy and standard enthalpy of formation okay so standard enthalpy formation of carbon dioxide you know standard enthalpy of carbon dioxide that is carbon plus oxygen co2 standard enthalpy of carbon dioxide is carbon carbon plus oxygen co2 carbon plus oxygen co2 form in this case delta h minus 393.5 kJ that is here delta h equals to minus 393.5 kJ okay so this is the 393.5 kJ minus that is that means it will be released out here the carbon plus oxygen co2 the standard enthalpy formation of co2 out here and it is obviously one mole so in this case at this kilojoule it will be released standard enthalpy of combustion standard enthalpy of combustion what we write we will not discuss all these things but formation and, and combustion is very important all are important but this is very important some problems will be we will discuss some problem just now so in that case it will be helpful the standard enthalpy of formation same thing in enthalpy change what i told earlier enthalpy change in complete combustion of one mole of a substance in excess of air or oxygen enthalpy change in complete combustion of one mole of what substance in excess of air or oxygen that is known as standard enthalpy of combustion and it is always standard enthalpy of combustion it is always exothermic it is always exothermic clear yeah, it is always exothermic okay exothermic and delta h that is delta c h will be what exothermic means negative that is will be negative remind it clear yeah? and also delta in an what i what we got out here standard heat of enthalpy of reaction what i know it will, I, i also discuss in the earlier summation of the formation of product heat of under enthalpy of formation of product summation of the standard enthalpy formation of the product minus summation of standard enthalpy formation of reactant okay product and the reactant and the reactant okay of formation of reactant okay so this product minus reactant 
the HR reactant HP product summation of you know, all the constituent parts, sum of all the reactants, sum of all the products. It is that, and in case of heat of combustion, it is a heat of reaction. In case of heat of combustion, this minus this, that is HR minus HP. Okay, standard health of standard enthalpy of reaction minus enthalpy of the product. This will be reverse in case of standard enthalpy of combustion. Okay, standard enthalpy of combustion, it will be this minus this and heat of reaction, this product minus reactant, reactant minus product. Remember this. Now I am coming, which is very important. So still let's start SS law. My job the balunga, write down all these things. So what is the SS law? In the thermodynamic process, what you see that enthalpy is uh, path independence uh, thermodynamic process. So, in that case, what is the Hess's law? Hess's law is that the 40, uh, that is the standard enthalpy of reaction. Standard enthalpy of reaction is the algebraic sum is the algebraic sum of the standard enthalpies of intermediate reactions standard enthalpy of intermediate reactions which into which overall reactions may be split or divided again i am telling the standard enthalpy of reactions is the SS law is standard enthalpy of reactions is the algebraic sum of the standard enthalpies of intermediate reactions into which the overall reactions may be split or divided. Okay, so in so let's see this is a process the process. And delta H the change of enthalpy in the process here A to B. It is change from A to B. And this process, this is the first process. This is a one step process. From A to B, the change is the heat change. Delta H, this is the amount of something, say minus 393.5 kilojoule. But if this process, if this reaction involves two step process, in first case, it is split off the process. We can see in your book, there will, there will be from A to here B directly. In, in your book, is there from A here one process, then here to this. In your book, you will find it. That is there to be directly. Then A to C and C to B. That is A to B out here. So path independent thermodynamic functions. So this process is split into two processes, two steps process. Then A to C, then C to B. And in this case, suppose the heat will delta H1 and it is delta H2. Okay. So if you add this, the C C will be cancel. Then A to B will be delta H1 plus delta H2. So A to B is delta H1 plus delta H2. Here A to B what? Delta H. So from the Hess's law, what we got? Delta H equals to delta H1 plus delta H2. Clear? This is same. I have told earlier, the algebraic sum of the process. Algebraic sum of the process, what is the Hess's law? The standard enthalpy of reactions. Standard enthalpy of reactions is the algebraic sum of what? Algebraic sum of the standard enthalpy of the intermediate reactions on into which the overall reaction may be split or divided. Okay, let's an exa example. Suppose conversion of carbon to carbon dioxide. For example, you have to convert 
from carbon to carbon dioxide. This is two stage process. You can do carbon plus oxygen, CO2. Here it will be released. Delta H will be minus 393.5 Besides this, the, the second step, the second process is the two-step process. First, carbon plus oxygen, carbon monoxide, then carbon monoxide plus oxygen, again carbon dioxide. So ultimate, this is two-step two process. Two-step process. Samaj gaya? Kyo? Clear. So in this thing, this is in the first, second step, the first step, the first step way, what carbon plus O2? CO here uh, delta H1 minus 110.5 lejun and second step carbon monoxide plus oxygen CO2 finally this will this will cancel so carbon plus half O2 plus half O2 O2 the carbon plus O2 to CO2 final product is this final product is this and this is the total heat released so if you add out here this plus this this is delta H1. Add it. That is delta H1 plus delta H2. Close to what we got? Minus 110.5 plus that means minus plus minus 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 283.0. That is that will be minus. So minus this and minus this. What will be answer? Minus 393.5 which is equals to delta H. Hence it is proved delta H1 plus H2 equals to delta H. Here this is the SS law. So by giving an example. So let's come some numerical problem. Carbon plus O2 is given CO. That means half O2. And here delta H1 is given. Suppose anything. Suppose uh, X. Okay. Minus X. Clear. Minus X. And this carbon monoxide again. I will just. I am given the example, I have already given CO plus half O2 is given CO2 and delta H2 equals to minus Y. Okay, so here find delta H of the axis. Find delta H of the axis. Find delta H of the axis. Okay, delta H of the axis. How will you find easy things? What? Delta H of C plus O2 CO2 plus delta H. That this C plus O2, we know what? C plus O2 equals to CO2. This is the reaction. And it's got delta H nikalna hai. C plus O2 equals to CO2. It's got delta H tumko nikalna hai. So, this is one. Suppose this is one reaction. This is two reaction. If you add one and two, and what will happen? This will this and this will cut. If we add 1 and 2, this will cut. So, the answer will be this plus this, the half plus half 1, which is O2. That is, this reaction will automatically come. And in this case, we have to add minus x plus minus y. The total h required, required h equals to minus x minus y. So, this is the answer. Clear? Okay? And this is, will be, you know, kilo joule. Answer. Clear? Now, example 2. Now I am coming. Example 2. Example 2 ka sums. I am going to write here. Who? It is here. Suppose extra reaction. It is here. AP203. AP203. Um, plus um, 3 CO is a reactant and product 
टू ए थ्री प्लस थ्री सी ओ टू इज गिवेन एंड एफ ओ प्लस सी ओ इक्वल्स टू एफ प्लस सी ओ टू ये बुक में है ओके दिस इज गिवेन इसका डेल्टा एच गिवेन सो डेल्टा एच दट इज एच वन डेल्टा एच टू इसका गिवेन हुआ है माइनस किलो जूल ये माइनस सिक्सटीन किलो जूल गिवेन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट ना क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड आउट द डेल्टा एच ऑफ रिएक्शन डेल्टा एच ऑफ रिएक्शन What? Find the write the questions. Write the questions. Delta H of reactions. What? Fe two O three plus CO two Fe O plus CO two. इसका तुम्हारा निकालना है. Delta H इसमें delta H कितना? Now this is given. Yes, this is given. Is delta H one given? Delta H two given? So find the delta H of the reaction. This reaction, you have to find out the delta H of this reaction. Heat of reaction, you have to find that. Find out heat of reaction. Not heat of formation. That will do the heat of formation. Heat of reaction. Find out how, 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 how. So cho, so cho, so cho. If it was three CO, two F three O, F three O, and CO two. Hmm hmm hmm. तो so, यहां पर एफ यू हो एफ टू और थ्री एफ टू और थ्री ठीक है एफ यू हो ये टू एफ यू हो यहां पर एफ यू हो अच्छा सी ओ सी ओ ठीक है सी ओ टू ए सी ओ टू थ्री सी ओ टू फोर सी ओ टू इसमें ओनली सी ओ टू ये सी ओ है एक है ए तीन के चार है टू बैलेंस हाउ टू बैलेंस सोचो 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 होगा क्या नहीं होगा होगा सोचो क्या होगा राइट द रिएक्शन एफ टू ओ थ्री सीओ एफ एफ फास्ट राइट दिस ओके सी 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 आई मीन आई एम आई थिंक एफ टू ओ थ्री प्लस थ्री सीओ इट इज गिवेन टू एफ प्लस थ्री सीओ टू ओके I am writing again this reaction Fe plus CO2. It is given. Okay. So in this case, what we have to uh, notice? See, yeah, this is the main reaction. We have to come to Fe. That main here. Hmm. सी इफ या यहां पर क्या है टू एफ यू इधर एफ यू सो इन दिस केस इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस दिस विथ माइनस टू वॉट विल हैपन राइट ना माइनस टू दट इज इट विल माइनस टू इफ यू राइट माइनस टू एफ यू इट विल बी माइनस टू एफ यू एंड इट इज बी माइनस टू सीओ Clear? It is minus two. It will be minus two. It will be minus. Clear? Minus, 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 minus. Then, if we add this, this reaction, what will be there? The light out here. Delta U R two, delta H one, delta H two. You have to write whatever there there. Now, two F U, two F U. Cut there. And from here, if you add this, so out here. Fe two O three plus will go three CO and two CO cut ke CO here Fe two CO agya equals to samajh gaya boy very important very important and tough two FeO idhar FeO udhar jayega that minus O plus ho jayega two FeO 
इधर से उधर जाए क्लियर एन थ्री सी ओ टू और टू सी ओ टू प्लस थ्री सी ओ टू माइनस टू सी ओ टू क्या होगा प्लस सी ओ टू और एक काट जाएगा एक काट जाएगा क्लियर सो इज बैंक सो मेन रिएक्शन इज आउट हेयर एफ ई टू ओ थ्री प्लस सी ओ टू एफ ओ क्लियर टू एफ ओ प्लस सी ओ टू सो इन दिस केस टोटल डेल्टा एच टू बी गिवन वॉट डेल्टा एच वन दैट इज इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड माइनस टू दैट इज डेल्टा एच वन इंटू वन ओके प्लस दैट इज इट विल माइनस ओके इट विल बी माइनस दिस एंड दिस सो माइनस टू इंटू डेल्टा एच टू दिस इज आंसर क्लियर सो Here, what is this? Delta H one kidana? Hello, delta H one kidana? Twenty six. The minus twenty six. Clear and minus minus plus is sixteen. Is the value kidana? Minus sixteen. Minus minus plus the sixteen two ja thirty two equals to kidana moga plus kidana six six or six plus six kilo jo. Clear. This is the ultimate heat. The question is come find out the delta H of the reaction. The delta H of the reaction is six kilo joule. Here, okay. next the last one. The next question is find enthalpy of reaction. Enthalpy of reaction. Find enthalpy of reactions. Hmm. Suppose given C two H six plus seven by two O two. C two H six seven by two O two is two C O two plus three H two O. This is given. C two H six plus seven by two O two two C O two plus three H two O. Okay, this is given. Yeah. Delta H, you have to find out. Find enthalpy of the reaction. I am direct given. You have to find out the delta H of the reaction. Delta H, you have to find out. This reaction is. You have to find out the enthalpy of that reaction. Okay. And what is given? Here enthalpy of formation given. Here enthalpy of formation of C two H six. Then the enthalpy of formation given. Enthalpy of formation given. C two H six given. C two H six minus twenty kilo joule. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, so joule was one kilo calorie. था. CO2 का गिवन CO2 का गिवन माइनस नाइन्टी किलो कैलोरी एंड एच टू और इसको भी गिवन कितना माइनस सेवेंटी दिस गिवन एंथेल्पी फॉर्मेशन इस गिवन तो क्वेश्चन अच्छा से समझो एंथेल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन इस गिवन आउट है C2H6 का माइनस ट्वेंटी CO2 का नाइन्टी एच टू का सेवेंटी एंड यू फाइंड आउट द एंथेल्पी ऑफ द रिएक्शन Have to find out the enthalpy of this reaction. How to find out? Okay. See. So this is very important. It is very important. Okay. How to find out? C two H six seven by two O two. This. So first of all, you have to remind that C two H six ethane. How ethane is formed? And how CO two is formed, how water is formed, this concept you have to clear. Ethane, that's it. Will get carbon and hydrogen in the reaction. Me, the formation of ethane, first formation of ethane, carbon plus hydrogen, is me will get C two H six will get. C two H six, how much? Two two, that is two C C two. C how much? Hai? Six. The three H two, clear. Two C plus three H two C two H six. Given. Is me <coughs> delta H one. 
minus 20 minus 20 kilo calorie given next come carbon dioxide carbon plus oxygen equals to co2 it is clear carbon plus oxygen co2 here delta h2 is given minus 90 given already then water water h plus o2 water out here h2 plus o2 that is h2 plus o2 2 o2 h2 o here for 8 to here for 2 to here 2 we cannot place 2 because all are in one mole all is one mole i have told earlier one mole of in case of one mole free state or you have to consider one mole of gas and the definition of enthalpy has just now one mole enthalpy of formation enthalpy of reaction all these in case of you have to convert only consider one mole so we cannot out here two mole then you see one mole one mole one mole so we have to find out here you have to press very important thing most of the students do not consult about this half or two half or two and delta h3 equals to minus 70 okay delta h3 so it is given from this you have to find, for, find out the enthalpy of reaction is how see out here c2h6 is either a left man so it is if you come it return if you bring in this way left hand side will be negative so here negative co2 2 co2 yeah only co2 3 h2o and what only h2o how it will be fixed so 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 here 7 by 2 o2 kaise aana padega ya half o2 ye bahut tough hai to dimag lagao dimag lagao see this is equation number 1 this is 2 and this is 3 suppose you have to add all these things now see if you multiply this equation by minus this is multiplied by this is multiplied by minus 1 ok and this is multiplied by what this is multiplied by 2 this is multiplied by 2 and this is multiplied by 3 by 2 plus 2 3 by 2 7 by 2 the go i am ajayega if you 3 if you multiply this 3 then what will happen see count so what is the result at the 2 2 c 2 or 2 2 c or 2 f 3 h 2 okay 3 by 2 or 2 3 h 2 okay the 3 h 2 out here clear 3 h 2 f 3 h 2 2 2 c or 2 2 c or 2 1 c 2 h 5 1 c 2 h 6 7 by 2 or 2 3 by O2 plus O2, 2, 2 O2. That, that means 3 by 2 O2 plus 2 O2. Kidna hoga? 7 by 2 O2. Mil gya? Mil gya? Mil gya? Mil gya? Oh, check out. Check. 2 C, 2 C. Cut jaga. Minus 2 C. It will be minus. It will be plus 2 C. Multiply. I will not bring all these things. I will not do all these things. So, it will cut. So, resultant heat will be. Resultant heat, what is the form of fun? The heat of reaction. The resultant heat of reaction, heat of reaction will be what we got out here. And the what in minus delta H1, clear minus delta H1 plus 2 into delta H2 plus 3 into delta H3. This is the concept. So it is minus 20 plus plus minus a minus 1 H2 into 90. That is minus 180 and this is also what? Minus 210 that is 7 into 3, 210. So it will be what? This minus minus minus. So this 2, 390. Yeah, minus. Oh, minus minus plus. This will be plus. Minus and this minus. That is plus. 180, 160, minus 160, minus 210, 
कितना होगा टू वन थ्री सेवेंटी दट इज किलो कैलोरी ओके दिस इज दिट ऑफ रियक्शन एंड दिस रियक्शन क्लियर एंड यू कैन डू ऑल्सो एंड दर मेथ जस्ट एड दिस ओके नेक्स्ट So heat of reaction, okay. So heat of the product. What is the product? Two, two into minus ninety CO two. T is CO two CO ninety, okay. Plus three into water. How much is water? Ka seventy, okay. Minus one eighty minus two hundred ten. It costs how much? Huh? Ninety, ninety. Three ninety minus three ninety. The heat of product, heat of formation of the product, heat of formation product is and heat of reaction. How much will be? One mole C two H plus. How much will be? Plus twenty. That is plus twenty. So here will be. Here will be. It goes to delta H. Okay. That is same thing. Three seventy minus three seventy. This is the another method. When it is given, this method is very useful. When all the all will be. given in that case otherwise you have to follow the first method okay thank you good night goodbye please share and subscribe my channels okay good night